everybody. Hi, Taurus. This is your reading for the 23rd to the 29th. You were the one that was the highest this week in the likes and the views. So thank you very much. And I hope you're, you enjoyed last week's reading and the romance reading as well. And we come out with the Lenamon cards, the woman, and the overall energy, the snake, the lotus, or the lilies, as they are also referred to, the messenger, and the bear. Then we have the page of wands, and um, we have the sun. Now, we this one flipped over. We have the nine of cups. And we have the Three of Cups. So celebrations are here for you. Wow, you have one magical week. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, so uh, they're very small cards. They're the Gilded Referee. And I do love them. Um, I've, I wanted them for ages, but I couldn't in full size. But I couldn't find them. But I found them in the... Um, uh, what you might call it, in the smaller version. Okay. Now, I'm just going to see whether I can bring it down because I can't see them on the screen. And that means that you can't see them either. Okay. Here we are. We've got a beautiful collection of cards and we've got a couple of Oracle cards, but I can't get them proper on the picture. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll show them to you when I get to them. Now, you come in. I'm using the Lenormand cards that are um, the same viewer sent it to me. The Titanian's Fortune cards. I've got two decks now, but that's an earlier edition. Okay, thank you very much. I'm really happy. And <clears throat> thank you for also, for everybody, for your support. And I do appreciate it more than you realize. Now, the um, lady means you could be meeting a lady. You could be making a new friend. Um, you could also be more nurturing because the talents of a woman is beauty, sensuality, nurturing, loving and caring. So you might be more caring this week or you could be meeting up with a beautiful lady. Or your feminine side could be coming out. And that doesn't matter whether you're a, a, a lady or a man. It means that your nurturing side could be coming out. Or you could be more sensual, handsome or beautiful. You could be beautifying yourself more, taking care of yourself. But this could also be a warning. Be careful. A, a friend of yours, a lady in this case, or a nurturing person could be very slithery this week. Okay, so be careful for the snake in the grass. They could be very smooth talkers this week. A friend could be, it could be a friend of yours, and they can really talk uh, their way out of a paper bag, as they say, or they can sell ice cream, uh, Eskimos ice creams or ice cubes. So be careful of what somebody is telling you or saying to you. Underneath this, um, is the page of wands. So it could also be a child that's not being honest. It could be also a news about, it is news, but it could also be news about a job or a hobby or something that you are creating. Or uh, about a um, strategy, strategy, like if you're making plans to go on holidays, your plans could be um, torn apart by news that is sent to you. It won't be good news, in other words. Don't believe everything a silk tongue says or tells. They can be innocent, but, you know, don't believe everything they tell you. Okay, so be aware. This could be um, Sagittarius mainly as the page represents Sagittarius, or it could be an Aries or a Leo. Okay. Then in the midweek, we have the Lily, so luck in business or at work. Okay. 
the lily also means not only good luck, but you might need to seek advice from a mature man or a, like a father figure or a professional. This could be um, the new employer uh, that is sending you um, a letter saying you've got the job, but we need to sign the contracts and you might want to get those contracts uh, looked uh, over by a professional to see the small thing. You've got the sun, so I don't think you've got much to worry about because you've got the lucky card and the sun. You are in the spotlight, so you are being seen, Taurus. And that's what I've been telling you the last couple of months. You are coming out of your shell and you're making fantastic steps ahead. And you are beginning to show the world what you're made of and that you are shining and you can do it. You can do the work. You can take the right action, even if it is slow but gentle, okay? You make sure that everything is secure, that you're crossing your teeth and cutting your eyes. Again, you could be going on holiday. And I was already talking about here about holiday. Check that everything is fine so that um, you have not missed any information or delays or IDs or th tickets or anything like that. Where there is a spotlight, there is also illumination. So the illumination is also telling you you need more information. Don't believe everything that you get told. Like if you want to go to a country and uh, they're telling you you don't need to be inoculated against the COVID, check and double check. And that's what I'm hearing somebody saying. Check and double check. Check and double check. Okay. Now the sum also means the time is fertile to get pregnant or to start a new venture. Okay. So there again, uh, also it's time for, is fertile for getting pregnant. So if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. There could be a prominent person around you that is a Leo. Uh, they could be the smooth talkers as well. Here again, you've got the page of fire. Leo is also fire. So you've got a lot of energy of fire in you. Now these cards don't have the numbers on them or the, the cartomancy cards, okay, the signs. So they're very, very plain. They're very easy to understand. If you want to learn Lenemon, and these are some of the nicest decks to start to learn Lenemon. Now, again, you've got news coming in, and I think it's got official news because this can be an official professional uh, person that you're seeking advice from. Um, and so, yes, you've got news coming in. So it could be professional. It could be um, authorised news, uh, something from school. We're nearly, if you're, if you're going back to school or college or university, it could be news from an institution since um, this is the professional uh, person that you need to seek advice from. Somebody could come to visit you and you could be visiting or going to visit somebody else. Definitely a new beginning because we know that the rider is number one in the Lenemann, so that is a new beginning as well. The bear at the weekend and the new beginning could be that your wish is coming true because you've got the nine of cups. Okay, so good news is on its way, could be official. At the weekend, we've got the bear. The bear means good luck. Also, feminine energy, because the bear is regarded as the mother in the Lenamon. So again, we have the female energy. So this is a very feminine uh, energy this week for you between the 23rd and the 29th. You could be visiting your mother or your grandmother, or an other mature lady that you respect, okay? Now, there could be an, an, a, a jealous person around you, okay? It doesn't have to be a mother or a, a woman, but there can be jealousy. We've got the woman and the snake together, so this could be the woman um, and the snake that is around you, 
or talking about you the whole week and you might find out who it is if it isn't uh, if you're not certain at the beginning of the week okay now rise above it when you get the bear be as strong as the bear stay standing because he's standing in some decks on his two leg hind legs or in here he's standing on his four legs so he's very very firm on the ground he's a big huge animal and he's not easy to, to be pushed over and that is what this card is saying rise above it if somebody does you wrong you know there will be karma they will get their karma um, just rise above it walk away from it walk away from their drama you can't help anybody that doesn't want to help themselves do protect what is dear to you but a friend that has two tongues or a split tongue because snakes do have split tongues um, you can not trust so walk away from it you can't celebrate with a person that tells lies some good news is going to come your wish is going to be fulfilled or your goal is going to be fulfilled there could be a job like i said or a promotion or the next level up in a relationship with the sun as well there you could be getting married or proposed to and a third party could be jealous and it could be a woman so de definitely mm, be careful okay but there will be double celebrations friday through to sunday okay awesome now you have from the queen of the moon oracle deck you have creation creation and we do have the full moon on the 23rd okay so let go of the old so you can start creating the new look at all the plans lying right in front of her and she's thinking with the full moon so you've got number 39 here which is 12 so be creative three is creation be creative be part of the creation acknowledge that you are part of god's creation or the universe's creations and be creative show who you are okay so this is definitely a beautiful reading so far then from the mystical unicorns we have you've got magic flowing through you spread it for all to enjoy well that would resonate you being the beacon or the magnet show off you're in the spotlight we've also got the sunset for you so be in the moon energy okay pick it up okay is an healing energy sunset little butterfly have you achieved all you wanted to do today so Taurus I leave you with that question my little butterfly have you achieved all you wanted to do today I oops I forgot something I forgot the bottom of the uh, deck of the uh, the gilded referee or the gilded uh, tarot you've got the ten of cups here wow happy families reunion with family and friends marriage new home wow you've got absolutely fabulous cards the nine of cups the ten of cups the three of cups you've got triple celebrations i'm sorry taurus i forgot take care love you Bye-bye.